This is uh, Wall Street Journal. Expedia ousts their CEO. Uh, you know, they got rid of their CEO. His, his name is uh, Mark Okerstrom. And, you know, they, I'm sure they, get, they gave him a, I heard they gave him a golden parachute of like $10 million. But uh, he didn't realize that's before the booking fee, the extra bag fee, <laughs> the, uh, the charge for picking his seat on the, on the ride to unemployment. So after that, it's about six bucks. He gets six bucks after that. So this is more Wall Street Journal. Hedge fund manager Stephen Cohen is close to an agreement to purchase a majority stake in the New York Mets baseball team. And, and th th this is really kind of beautiful, right? This is America's pastime being owned by someone who's living the American dream of becoming a billionaire by adding nothing of value to the country. <laughs> and that, that really is just a beautiful sight, right? Doesn't it really just warm your heart? You're like, yeah, this guy has fucking exploited the system to get incredibly rich. Hedge fund managers add nothing, nothing, nothing. They skim off the top of fucking financial transactions around the world, and they get incredibly rich, and then they buy our baseball teams. It's, it's lovely. It's lovely. What a good guy. You know, what a good guy. Then another headline here, Wells Fargo list of woes grows. There's somebody who's paid a lot of money to think of that stupid title. <laughs> he, sits, he sits in his office and he's like, their worries grow. No! Does not rhyme! <laughs> he's getting $200,000 a year. Uh, all right. Top regulator rebukes banks' HR operations as lender struggles to put scandals behind it. Wells Fargo, uh, principal regulator, has said the bank has a massive backlog of employee human resources complaints and poor controls around pay. Now, it, it really is incredibly shocking that Wells Fargo, a massive bank that is, is built on the exploitation of all of us, doesn't treat their workers well. I mean, that, it's very upsetting. It's, it, you know, I just, my heart breaks for all these, for all these workers. You know, it is amazing, honestly, it is amazing that as they, as they spend their day to day, every day, they get in early, they come in early. They get in early to steal pensions from workers, steal houses, just force people to get subprime fucking mortgages that destroy their lives. And then it turns out some of those workers that are doing that are also like grabbing their coworkers' thigh. <laughs> and the HR department hasn't done shit about it. <laughs> and these might all be Wall Street Journal this time around. The Trump administration is considering adding some of Amazon's overseas operations to a list of global marketplaces known for counterfeit goods. <laughs> Which is hilarious, because everything Trump says is a counterfeit good. Like, <laughs> Is there one good he's promised that wasn't, you're like, this is made out of toothpicks. This isn't, that's not a real electric scooter. I mean, I mean, it's also hilarious just cause like, yeah, of course Amazon's selling counterfeit goods. They sell, they sell like fucking anything. They, you could buy children off of Amazon. You could buy, literally you can buy, you can look this up, literally you can buy a, like a bucket for like six bucks, a bucket of live ladybugs that they will just send you. I'm not kidding. And you can just unleash, it's like 2,500 ladybugs in your apartment and feel, <laughs> and feel really magical for a, a solid 10, 12 minutes before they all die. But, and then you're just walking around with ladybugs, which less magical, one could say. We got a, a, two more here, two more. Comcast plans to spend $2 billion over the next two years on content and marketing for Peacock, its streaming service set to launch in April. Now, I understand the, con the NBC symbol is the Peacock, but you couldn't think of renaming that streaming service? <laughs> Peacock, that's the best you could come up with? Why, why not Urine Dick? Why not just name it? <laughs> why not just name the service Urine Dick? Uh, and then uh, this one, we gotta, we gotta have a Christmas one here at the end. Mall Santa loses reins to video chat. Get it, reins, get it, get it? I'm telling you, that guy's paid a lot, all right. <laughs> Mall Santa loses reins to video chat. Children are now visiting Saint Nick online. So they're not going to the Mall Santa, which is bullshit, all right? 
You cannot get the full effect over video chat. You can't get the fucking miserable fake beard hanging off. A chair that reeks of beer farts, <laughs> fucking exploited little people running around. You can't get the real effect without going to the goddamn mall. You can't. Plus, now you get to go to the mall and see half the stores out of business. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> screaming children. This is not. This is not Christmas. All right. This is not. And as a Jew who had Christmas, I'm allowed to say that.